Hey FlossTube, welcome to the special edition of Creative Womb Studio. Hey guys, I'm so excited today to be announcing the giveaway winners for my 10,000 subscriber video. Uh, I want to start out by saying there's so much confusion, I think, around this whole whether you're subscribed to a channel or not. So I dug into it and at the end of this video will be a video showing you what you need to do to make sure you can get in on giveaways. Now, I'm going to start out by saying, normally, I say you have to be subscribed, but I never check. I don't know if everybody does check. I don't know what they do, but I thought <laughs> I thought I had to check all 10,000 subscribers to make sure the person that won was subscribed. And if you look at your list of subscribers, they're not in alphabetical order. So to go through all that, I was just never wanted to do it. Well, I dinked around on YouTube today and I found where you can search a person's name. And I also found out that when that person's name comes up, you can tell if they are subscribed or not. If they are publicly subscribed or not. Now, here's the thing. I mentioned in my video where I showed all the giveaways I mentioned more than once that you need to make sure that your account is set to public, that you are okay with publicly people publicly knowing who you're subscribed to. I mean, it's not that big a deal anyways, but I don't think people understand that that is important because if you, it, it's not important if you don't want to get in on giveaways, but if you want to get in on a giveaway, I had... I used the YouTube random comment picker and I, a person's name would come up, I would search them, their comment would come up, and that there's a little icon next to a person's name, a little red icon. That means that they are publicly subscribed. So I can tell that you're subscribed that way. If there's no little red icon next to your name, I picked another winner. And I, I had to do that sometimes five and six times before I actually picked a winner that was sh that I knew was subscribed to my channel. So it makes me sad because there was a lot of people that entered into several of the different items I was giving away, but I can't tell that they're subscribed. Maybe they are subscribed, but if you have it, if your account is set so that your subscriptions are private, then I don't know if you're subscribed or not. So I want to clear this up because it makes me sad. There was just there was a lot of people that could have won that I had to move on because they I can't tell if they're subscribed or not. And especially being that I'm celebrating 10,000 subscribers, <laughs> I want to make sure that the person that wins is actually a subscriber. Okay, having said all of that, let's get to it. So the first thing that we gave away, um, thanks to Riley Blake Designs, they donated two roly-polies of my For the Love of Nature fabric line. All right, so the first two people that won, the, or the only two people, <laughs> I have two of them, two winners. The first one is Ida Brandon. The second one is Anne Bryson. Now, another thing I just want to mention, I am not going to hunt you down to try to tell you you won. I'm hoping that you watch this video and you hear your name. I'm going to put the name up here because, just to be clear, to make sure that you know you won, uh, what you need to do is then email me at teresacogat3 at gmail.com. Let me know you won. Please tell me in your email what you won just makes it easier but in your 
uh, subject line, please put winner. All caps would be great because it would stand out. Just put winner, give me your mailing address, and I will email, or I will email, I will get your prize in the mail to you ASAP. The second thing we had, again, courtesy of Riley Blake Designs, was these two seam rippers that are super cool. I have one upside down. <laughs> so there were two for that one. Kathy Gerhardt and Christy Rom. Or Rome. I'm not sure how to say that. The next thing that we had, we had uh, chunky threads. A chunky threads pack. We had spring. And then we had summer. Okay. So spring, the winner for the spring chunky Lori Holt chunky thread pack, courtesy again of Riley Blake Designs, is Sweet P C. The winner of the summer thread pack is Tiffany Nowak. Congratulations. All right. Courtesy of Teresa Vanette of Shakespeare Peddler. Excuse me. Okay, we have the next four winners are um, prizes that Teresa Vanette from Shakespeare's Peddler or uh, kittenstitcher.com. She um, donated to the giveaway. The first one, you had to say Peddler. Or no, you had to say, my bad, you had to say Prayer. Is that the one? Yes. Why did I have you say, no, this is 1836. Where's the prayer one? I'm sorry, this one is prayer. Okay, the winner of this one is Christine. That's another reason I'm going to just type it up there. It was just Christine. There was no last name. Ooh, where am I going to put this? Ooh, 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 ooh. I need a chair. All right, the second donation from Teresa Vanette. You had to type in 1836 for this beautiful sampler. And the winner is Crafting with Susie Q. Congratulations. This next one, you had to say sampler. The winner for this one is Kareen Burnham. Okay, now for Teresa's Red Letter Day, beautiful book full of beautiful red samplers and all kinds of neat information inside. This, you had to say red, and the winner is Leslie O'Brien. All right, thank you so much, Teresa Vanette, for your donations to my giveaway. really appreciate it. Okay, so then I gave away one of each, one each of my new releases. So the first one that we have is Love Lives Here. You had to say live, and the winner is Janet Householder. The second one, Let Love Rain, and you had to say rain, and the winner is Lorraine Zan. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Next we have my new release, Thoughts and Dreams. You had to say dreams, and the winner is Quiltma Sue Gooden. Next, we have Flurry, and you had to say Flurry. <laughs> the winner is Libby Stitches. Next, we have the um, Newcastle Bouquet Biscornu. You had to say Biscornu, 
and the winner is Lynette Bartel. And then we have Gather. No. Oh, Gather was way up there. Anyway, I thought I had them in order. Okay, so for Gather, you had to say Gather, and the winner is Stephanie Peters. All right, next we have Madonna and Child, and you had to say Madonna to be in on this giveaway. The winner is John Farnan. Next we have Love is the Key. You had to say key in your comment, and the winner is Sharon Peterson. Next we have, whoopsie, <laughs> next we have In Our Home. This was a Silver Needle Retreat exclusive from last year, so this will come out to the public August of this year at Needlework Expo. So for this one, you had to say Home, and the winner was Margie Young. All right, now we have some 8x10 prints. First we have Bella. You had to say Bella. And the winner is Stephen Buckwalter. For this one, Beautiful You, you had to say Sheep. And the winner is Renee Myers. The next one is... I forget the name of the painting, but you had to say love. The winner is Karen Price. Next we have In Command Angel. She's so pretty. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to make it so it's not so glary. Uh, In Command Angel, you had to say command, and the winner is Patty Hinman. Can I make it look like it's never mind. Never mind. Just I was gonna make it look like I was the angel. Never mind. <laughs> this is Rejoice. And the winner is Nancy Epson Shade. Yeah, the glare is something awful, isn't it? There we go. To be entered to win this, you had to say rejoice, and the winner is Nancy. No. Oh, Lord. Did I mess up? No, that was rejoice. I'm sorry. You had to say Mary for this one. Jeez. And the winner is Amy Crane. All right. Then we had this cute Uncle Sam pouch. So this Uncle Sam pouch, zipper pouch... Super cute, nice size. You had to say Sam, and the winner is Sandy Macon. Mankin. Mankin, maybe? I'm not sure. All right, moving on to some original paintings. Got Wool. For Got Wool, you had to say Wool, and the winner is Deborah Dickin. Right, and we have another original painting. You had to say friends, and the winner for this one is Pam Donaldson. For this one, you had to say ride. The winner for this one is Pat McGee. All right, a couple punch needle models. For this one, you had to say Crow. And the winner is Deborah Rosenau. Rosenau. 
And last but not least, we have the punch needle urn. Urn of flowers, and you had to say urn, and the winner is Mendy, the Missouri Stitcher, which happens to be one of my friends. So it's nice to hear a name of somebody you've actually met in person. <laughs> So congratulations to everybody that won something. Uh, again, email me right here. Look at your screen, teresacogat3 at gmail.com. Put winner in your subject line. When you email me, please tell me what you won, your name, your physical address. Again, I'm going to insert a video showing you what you need to do to make sure that you are showing up as a subscriber so that when you enter these drawings, not just mine, but I know Stitching with the Housewives. I mean, there's a lot of floss tubers that give away uh, amazing things, you know? And I know Stitching with the Sisterlies right now has an amazing um, giveaway going on. So go check them out. I'll list them below. But they hit a milestone as well. So they did uh, a giveaway. So if you want in on their giveaway, you're going to want to make sure you're subscribed and you're going to want to make sure your setting is proper. Because I think what's happening is people hit the subscribe button and they're like, well, I'm subscribed. But if your channel in the settings, in the privacy settings, if it's clicked on that you want to keep your subscriptions private, then you're not going to show that you're subscribed. So it's very important because I feel horrible that people are missing out on these giveaways. So anyway, thank you everybody for your support. Thanks for supporting my channel by being a subscriber, by watching my videos and commenting. I love all of it. I'm just blessed to be a part of this community. So thank you again for all that you do for me <laughs> and all of your support. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. Bye. Okay, friends, we are going to get to the bottom of this whole thing <laughs> because I want you to be able to enter into drawings, not just on my channel, but on other channels and actually be able to, eligible, I should say, to win something. So here you are. Let's say this is you. You're in YouTube. If you scroll down, see this here, this menu, Go down to where it says settings. Click on settings. Then you're going to come up here and click on privacy. Go over here. Keep all my subscriptions private. That means when you subscribe to a channel, it will not show that you are subscribed. So let me go to something else here. Okay. Now I am I am in my dashboard for my YouTube channel. See that right there? When I see that red, it says publicly subscribed to your, to you. Okay, this person has been subscribed for two years. Okay, so if I want to see all of my subscribers, I click on that see all. Now I have it set to comments. Okay, for a certain, I can go to a certain I can go to a certain video and which I want to do, okay? Because I'm trying to find the people that entered in to the 10,000 subscribers. So these are all the comments. So I go over to the YouTube random comment picker, okay? And let's say I'm going to this is just I've already I've already went through this. This is just an example to show you how this works. So I put in up here, filter comments based on specific text. I click that and one of the keywords was key. So I put in key, I say get YouTube comments. So 
So I'll see how that number's changing. It's going through. There was 1,069 comments. All right, on that particular one, 555 people got in on it. I hit start. And it gives me this name. Again, this is just for example, because I've already got all the winners for that. So then I go, go over here and see where it says filter. I click that and I hit search. And then I put in Judy. My dog loves to ruin my videos. So, Judy, I'm not. I'm going to blur out her last name because I don't want to pick on anybody in particular. But the person that actually, you know, was drawn for that, it doesn't have that little red mark, that little red symbol that shows me that person is subscribed to my channel. So then I have to go over and pick another person. This happened more often than not. And I think that it is just by mistake. I don't think people realize that they're not subscribed. Now I'm going to put in someone that I know. Or Hold on. I'm going to put in somebody that I know is subscribed. So you can see how it comes up. There you go. Missouri Stitcher. This right here tells me she subscribed. Anyways, I wanted to show you that, guys, because you may think you're entered into drawings, and you might not be. So again, go to YouTube, scroll down on the left-hand column, click on Settings, then click on Privacy, and then make sure that that is clicked so that it's blue. Keep... Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. You don't want it blue. Oh, my gosh. I did that totally backwards. It says, keep all my subscriptions private. If that is clicked on blue, then it's showing... It, you won't show up as subscribed. Make sure that is black is what I meant to say. I had that backwards. My apologies. Keep all my subscriptions private. Well, I don't want that. So you want to make sure that that is black. All right, guys. That is your tip for the day. Okay, guys. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs>